But we begin tonight with a tense meeting as flood victims from one of Houston's hardest hit areas ask questions about the future of their homes. We're talking about the Bear Creek area near the Barker and Attucks Reservoirs in West Houston. While many of the 200 people who packed that meeting had questions, they may, may not have heard the answers that they were hoping to get. Channel 2's Brandon Walker was there and he joins us live with reaction tonight. Brandon. And Bill and Sion, it's easy to understand that frustration when guts of what was home lay now as garbage waiting for curbside pickup. Tonight's meeting had representatives from FEMA, the Small Business Administration, the Army Corps of Engineers, also officials from Harris County. But it seems the key question here, whether residents should stay and rebuild, could not be answered by all of those officials. We will start on time and we're going to finish on time. On a school night at Lee Elementary, questions from a curious bunch. Can we expect our flood insurance premium to go up? Hoping for answers on what to do in the lesson called Life After Harvey. Congressman Ted Poe hosted the meeting, a chance, he says, for residents of Houston's Bear Creek community to get answers. So did they? My question is why the Corps of Engineers hadn't worked on the levy in 70 years. I'm not really satisfied with the answers because there's talk on their website about a buyout and now he's telling us no funds. That question of a buyout handled by the Harris County Flood Control District. Right now with no funding in place, until funding can come in, we, we really can't answer that question. Residents also heard from the Army Corps of Engineers following this question. Is anything going to be done in the reservoir so floods won't happen in the future? Fireworks there about what the Corps knew and whether communities like Bear Creek can be spared from flooding brought on by swollen Barker and Attucks reservoirs in the future. Answer, leaders are exploring several possibilities. Inside the reservoirs is a lot of dirt. Uh, and so if dirt could be removed from inside the reservoirs, we'd be able to increase the capacity of the reservoirs themselves. And that's a complicated question to ask in the first place, and that's because so many people were wondering whether this could be prevented. The Army Corps said that they can't answer that question, but they're looking at other more preventative measures, including deepening other watersheds in the area. But they added that they can't deepen one watershed to risk flooding in other communities to save another. That drew a lot of controversy from people in the audience who feel as though they were compromised to spare other parts of the city. We are live tonight in Northwest Houston. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News. A lot of tough conversations ahead. Brandon, thank you.